people. Like, yo, make it make sense. Yo, to the person in the back, please come to the front. No disrespect. But, yo, make it make sense at the end of the day. You ever allowed yourself to say, yo, thought process. <laughs> I'm going to be come out of my comfort zone just a little bit. I want to come out of my comfort zone just a little bit. <laughs> you don't allow somebody to come into your comfort zone, right? Only to realize you got to reevaluate your thought process. Like, yo, thought process. What's up? <laughs> we working today? All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. So, you know how when you come out your comfort zone to meet new people or whatever the case may be, or you had that person that's been around you for a very long time, or whatever the case may be, you know, and um, you meet their family, you know, not everybody is meant to, you know, enjoy the time to experience you as a person. You know, I'm not just talking about sexually. I'm just talking about your presence alone itself. Like, you just being somewhere and people just cannot get to you type of energy. Like, leave me alone type of energy. <laughs> like, no, I do not exist to you right now. <laughs> like, that type of energy. So, you ever went somewhere, somebody asked you to come out somewhere, but the way they asked you to come out somewhere... Now you reevaluating your thought process because you hearing stuff. You know what you're hearing. And you're trying to figure out, I thought this was a, you know, a genuine outing or something. But the whole entire time, this associate or this person that you're talking to or whatever the case may be, they had a plot. They had a mission. They was on a mission. You know one of those haters <laughs> that take their mask off? They <laughs> hate in disguise, <laughs> but they appear. Hello, I'm here. I'm a hater. <laughs> type of energy and they have malicious intentions towards you they bring you around a family or whatever the case may be you know being around thick ass people families you know that shit really exists they smile in your face in real life they trying to bring harm to you <laughs> they would do shit like this have a drink <laughs> okay no problem have a drink nah I'm good Pay attention to the person who just had a drink, to the person who didn't have a drink, <laughs> the person that had a drink. They're not bugging. They're not crazy. But people about to tell them that they're crazy. <laughs> so you go to the get together or you go to their house or whatever the case may be. So you meet their folks. So you sitting there chilling, drinking or whatever the case may be, minding your business or you sober. And you start hearing whispering and shit. Like, what the fuck going on? We about to go to the store. Then you hear in the background, we about to use them. We about to use them for their money. Like, wait, what? No, hold on. Ma'am, sir, I, you know I can hear you, right? Ma'am, sir, you know I can hear you? <laughs> what the fuck? And then, the person that they relaying the message, the information to, they looking at them. Why they looking at them? And they like, no, why would you do such a thing to that person? It's like that person was just being so kind to you. They didn't disrespect you in no shape or form. And they seem like they're, they're a genuine good person. And they carry themselves well. Why would you do that to that person? Come on, fuck all that. Let's just use them. I'm a sip, I'm a sip, I'm a, I'm a put something they drink. And yeah, and we're going to move forward like that. Mind you, you hear everything. So now you're starting to sober up. So you know what? It's time to go. But I do need something to eat, though. <laughs> I've been drinking. <laughs> it's time to go. No, no, don't go, don't go. Why not? Because we friends, we peoples. You know, you don't want to say too much in someone's home or... You know, to a point where you can't get yourself out of a situation. Meaning that you just walked into a blindsided situation. Not knowing what the fuck was going on. No disrespect. So now you're reevaluating yourself and you pick peeping everything that's being transpired. So then you guys have a conversation. And they say that you're paranoid. That you're delusional. That none of this is happening. Besides one person that's saying that they don't want no participating in this. And they're saying that they're about to dismiss themselves. But this, this person who has the plan, who thinks they have a plan to get away with this, 
is like making it hype. So this person attempts to put something in your cup now, but you see it because they, they acknowledged it. So you see it and you're like, wow, somebody will really play with my life like that. So you play it off and you throw the cup out and they ask you, why would you do that? Why are you yelling for? Why are you screaming for? Because why the fuck would you do that? Oh, wow. You got controlling issues. Mind you, you're trying to get out of this situation. You don't want no confrontation with nobody. So you're being very observant. How are you going about to leave out of this situation? Without causing any corruption. Meaning at the end of the day, like, you in somebody else's spot. But you got to leave out that door. And you're trying to figure out how to get out that door. Then they start disrespecting you. Then they start getting aggressive. Now they want to fight you. Or because they try to psych you out of your own thought process. Because they're miserable and they have malicious intentions to harm you. They try to psych you out of your own freedom because they have malicious intentions, because they was miserable, and they try to bring harm to you. Wow. All because you came out of your comfort zone? You know, someone who has controlling issues because they take someone's kindness for weakness, you know, they feel like they're gullible Never judge a book by its cover because someone is genuinely authentically themselves and they just care about people and they respect people around them. And they, they, they like to have a good time with life and in a healthy way. You know, it's normal to be around somebody and for someone to genuinely love themselves and care for themselves in a healthy manner and to share that love with people around them with no malicious intentions. But just like that, somebody who's not used to that will abuse it and disrespect somebody in the process of someone genuinely being them all thick selves. Like how you showing up for yourself in a healthy way, but you gotta protect yourself from energies like this at all times. It's a cold, cold world out here. When the mask came off, the hate in disguise showed who they really was. And you never had no malicious intentions towards them, but they try to play you close. But you saw it for what it was. And then they try to psych you out of your own thought process and say you got anxiety problems. You're tripping. It's just the drink. Now nah, I wasn't the drink. I saw what I saw when I saw what I saw. And your folks heard what you said too. That's robbed that person. That's hurt that person. Because that's what you said. No disrespect. But remember, God heard and saw everything as well too. No disrespect. Like I said, this page ain't for everybody. And that's okay. I didn't disrespect nobody in no shape or form at the end of the day. No disrespect. Regardless to your sexuality, regardless to your religion, regardless to your color of your skin, regardless to your culture, nobody deserves that. No disrespect. Nobody deserves it. A hate in disguise for what? What you hating on the next person for? Why are you trying to take from the next person for? It's just that simple. The same way you think you could take something from somebody, it's quickly to ask for, them some, for something, then to take it from them at the end of the day, especially when they're a genuine person. To take somebody's life or to try to psych somebody out of their freedom or to psych somebody out of their thought process at the end of the day, to try to bring them down because you're down, If you needed a dollar, that person would have gave you that dollar. If you needed food, that person would have gave you food. But you took it from them. You tried to. You tried to. Yeah, you. You tried to. That person never had malicious intentions towards you. Wow. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. You deserve to be treated with respect 365 days with no malicious intentions towards anyone because your life matters. 
just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. And never allow someone to psych you out of your thought process because they're miserable. Never allow someone to psych you out of your freedom because they're miserable. Respectfully. Wow. You know, it could go from a person being well or a person being not okay, not okay, and unwell if that situation would have flipped its script completely. Either they would have wound up in the hospital, whatever poison that person put in that cup, or they would have woke up. Not aware of themselves, or never had memory the way they the way they supposed to have their memory, or they would have never woke up just because somebody had malicious intentions to bring harm towards that innocent person. Like, make it make sense. It would never make sense to a genuine person that doesn't have malicious intentions to bring harm let alone disrespect another human being with malicious intentions compared to a person who has envious energy, that's jealous, that don't want to see somebody happy because they're miserable. They're not grounded. They don't respect themselves, let alone honor themselves in a healthy way to show up for themselves. They don't know what it feels like for, for you to love yourself in a healthy way. Or for somebody to genuinely show up for them in a healthy way without disrespecting them. People respect you more, I see, when you disrespect them. But it's just a certain kind of people that will respect that. When you disrespect them, it turns them on. But being that that turns you on, that's disgusting. Leave innocent people alone with your malicious weird asses. <laughs> What's wrong with people? That shit should be a crime. How you getting turned on to get a reaction out of somebody? Love yourself. Love yourself. Loving yourself is not a crime. Never allow someone to psych you out of your thought process because you're loving yourself. Because they're miserable. <laughs> Night genuine love. Respect. <laughs>